honorable policymakers who are present here, distinguished funders, global partners of the ARC, members of the ARC's governing bodies and advisory bodies, researchers, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's my joy and pleasure to welcome you all this morning to the 37th plenary session of the ARC biannual research workshop. The theme of the plenary is climate change and economic development in Africa. I would like to begin by expressing my gratitude to the government of Tanzania for their generosity in accepting to host this workshop and for their typically African warm welcome to all of us. Your Excellency, uh, distinguished participants, on a personal note, I'm further privileged by, to be making these remarks as a newly installed executive director of the ARC. My official start date was yesterday. Uh, this is really homecoming for me, since I have been given the opportunity to come back to the motherland by way of the privilege to serve an organization which I've admired so greatly for years after working as a resource person uh, and also as chair of a finance fac of the thematic research. And I feel very welcome by management and staff as well as a vibrant network of the ARC. Together, I can assure you that we'll move the ARC to the next level of excellence as a premier the entity for capacity building in the advancement of research and training to inform policies in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, on this front, uh, I have some broad strategies toward this realization of this bold vision. Among these are enhanced global integration of the ARC through a variety of institutional linkages and best practices. Technology integration into the ARC operations and training programs, cultivating ARC as an intellectual hub and a repository of database by leveraging years of research, enhancing sustainability of resources through leveraging huge alumni base and, great, and greater participation of African stakeholders. While my official start date uh, was just yesterday, I've actually been uh, involved in some key activities in this transitional phase, including the recruitment of the new research director and the new resource mobilization manager. I've also come to get to know the wonderful ARC secretary that I'm privileged to work with. At this point, I, I wish to acknowledge the wonderful contributions of our outgoing uh, executive director, Bill Liaokua, who has also been generous, by the way, with his time to help make this transition smooth. Bill is now, by the way, away on sabbatical and is very well deserved. Uh, let me take this opportunity to introduce to the two uh, newcomers to the ARC family, who I think constitute among uh, my more substantive first act as an executive director of the ARC. Uh, Dr. Witness Simba Ganevi, uh, would you stand up, please? Okay. Uh, Witness is an accomplished information theorist and a policy analyst who started uh, his academic career uh, at the University of Cape Town after obtaining his PhD from Stockholm School of Economics. He then moved to a senior lecturer at UCT before he joined the National Treasury of South Africa. He was division chief there when we discovered him for the research director position. Witness is an accomplished researcher with publications in highly respected international journals. He is originally from Zimbabwe and now a citizen of South Africa I'm very proud to have him on my team. Miss yeah. Mary Kuria, stand up. Okay. Mary, Mary comes uh, to the ARC with numerous years of experience on resource mobilization and grants management for development programs since obtaining her master's uh, degree in strategic management from the United States International University. Mary has worked for key institutions including the UK Department of International Development, DFID, the Red Cross Movement, the African Union, as well as non-governmental organizations leading their fundraising efforts and management of program grants. So um, glad to have Mary on our team. Uh, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our agenda is actually full, so I'm going to be very brief here on. Uh, this, uh, today's agenda is in the realm of academics and ARC's mandate. Our goal today is to enhance our understanding of the economics of climate change as it applies to Africa by way of identifying key research questions and issues and possible policy responses. Uh, we have leading presenters and discussants to take you through its important uh, subject with a review of international experience and policy lessons for Africa. Climate change is a major challenge for the, the globe, including uh, our fast-growing continent of Africa. Global climate change actually imposes negative externalities on Africa. And hence, Africa would actually greatly benefit from global uh, solution. To that end, uh, it is important to come to grips with the cause of economic uh, climate change, uh, with the uh, economic impact of climate change, as well as costs related to adaptation and mitigation, uh, which is really a daunting task. Uh, empirical researchers are grappling with this issue through developing appropriate methodologies and frameworks, and one of our plenary papers is on this subject. Uh, the economic impact of climate change is particularly worrisome in the context of rain-fed agriculture in Africa. And we have a paper on this important subject as well, uh, which also provides a menu of policy responses to adaptation and mitigation. Now, let me uh, remind you that the plenary discourse is not just paper presentation and discussion. It's going to be uh, uh, based on a collective wisdom of presenters, discussants, audience participants, uh, so that by the end of the day, we have a better understanding of the economic impact of climate through change and help inform policy making in the best of ARC traditions. Uh, distinguished participants, uh, it's worth noting that African countries are increasingly taking proactive stance in developing policy choices based on the results of research with analytical rigor. This would not be possible without development and retention of local capacity. A business in which ARC has been engaged uh, for over two decades. So what stands out for ARC is really this dual, this duality of capacity building and policy outreach. Uh, and ARC, uh, as many of you know, is African success story. Uh, just a couple of indicators. Um, ARC's research program has mentored over 3,000 researchers through thematic and collaborative research, while the graduate programs have supported over 2,000 MA students in economics, over 150 master's students in agricultural economics, and over 500 doctoral students in economics. So the impact of this program can be actually seen everywhere, in institutions such as central banks, various government ministries, the African Development Bank, the World Bank, the IMF, the United Nations Economic Commission for <laughs> Africa, policy research institutes, various institutes across sub-Saharan Africa. In fact, let me point out that Beno Ndulu, who happens to hail from Tanzania, is an ARC alumnus and actually uh, the governor of Bank of Tanzania. Now, Benno actually joins nine others who are governors of central banks in, in uh, and around uh, Africa. Um, so this is a, uh, let me also mention by the way that today's plenary is going to be carried on interactive live webcast. So wherever you are outside this room, it could be somewhere in Pluto. So you'll have access to this. But I just wanted to warn you that don't just go to your hotel and stay away from this just to take advantage of this live web house. Um, and this is actually entirely consistent with our new technology initiative. And we'll try to integrate technology everywhere. We'll make things as paperless as possible as we move on. Um, before I invite the honorable minister to introduce the chief guest, uh, this morning to make the official opening of the plenary conference in the biennial research workshop. Please allow me, on behalf of the ARC management and the staff, to convey our heartfelt appreciation to all of you for being here. 